Namaste. So today we're going to look at some yin yoga, which I absolutely love. I try and do yin yoga in the evenings at least a few times a week. It just kind of calms down my nervous system, just feels incredible. This is quite a short practice today, um, so I hope that you can enjoy this and fit this in um, whenever you can. So you're going to need a cushion or pillow and a bolster it doesn't have to be anything as fancy as this one. Uh, pillows off your bed are absolutely fine. Sofa cushions tend to be quite nice and chunky. But grab what you need and then we're going to get into our first pose. And we're going to hold them about two or three minutes each, so not too long. So we're going to bring this one about halfway down your mat. We're going to come into a back bend, okay? So if your back's not great, this kind of firm bolster might be a bit too high. So feel free to um, take a slightly uh, lower bolster if that's better. And then we're going to lift up, sit on the bolster, lie back, bend the knees, have the feet flat on the floor. Then you can either have your hands by your sides or you can take them up behind the head. Take a minute to align and then just close the eyes and pause. So from here, we're just going to take the legs and lift them up towards the ceiling. You might need to adjust your bolster a little bit to lift the legs. And then again, you can leave the hands down by your sides or take them up above the head. Keep your chin tucked in and just focus into your breath and let yourself sink down into the floor, into the bolster or cushion or pillow. Deep breath, just let go. from the last few breaths of this one we're going to bring the feet down and then extend your legs out straight if that's too strong just keep them bent
Bring the feet back in and lift and just move your bolster or cushion out the way and have a, just a little lie back, flat back, just feel that flat back into the mat, hands by your sides for a couple of breaths. And then we're going to roll to the side to come up and come round onto your front bring your bolster with you to the front of your mat and you've got a couple of choices now for sphinx pose so sphinx we're on forearms are on the floor and you've got a choice you can either bring your pillow and just place it with your forehead down that's nice and gentle or perhaps a block if you have one if you want to go stronger here a bit more of a back bend you're going to bring the bolster in bring it under your ribs Keep your hips down, pelvis is down, and then bring your arms over into a stronger sphinx pose, or to take it deeper still, hands come to the ends of the mat, and then lift up into a seal, and just move your bolster so it's supporting you under your ribs. And remember with yin, it's really important to think of not making the effort that you would with a flow, with a yang uh, practice, where you might try and work to 100 or 120 percent effort this practice we're working about 70 or 80 percent so you don't want to be feeling like you're pushing yourself here as you hold and you use the props to support you so that you can really relax it's a real passive soothing practice here and to come out of this one just going to relax down bring the hands underneath your ribs and push up just come to all fours but don't take a cat cow just hold with a neutral spine we're then going to come round to our forward fold so again bolster if you have one few pillows or cushions if not again few choices bolster can go down uh, your legs or it can come across just play around I want you to feel that you can just drop into this into a nice back bend she's going to bring yourself across maybe hook the arms over you could make a fist or double fist and rest the chin or you're going to take the bolster long and then you can lean into it a little bit more again fist double fist so it's a nice soft forward fold just gently releasing the lower back and hold here just for a couple of minutes
this one, slowly come up to sit, bolster one to one side, just bring the hands to the sides, good, then we're going to come into a really nice uh, yin restorative twist, for this one I'm going to suggest you bring another pillow or block in, um, so that your bolster or other pillows are a little bit lifted. You're then going to bring yourself over, um, you're going to bend your knees just comfortably, really nice and soft bend, you can see my legs here, and then bring yourself in so your left hip, that your le feet have gone to the right, your left hip's tucked in, and then you're just going to bring yourself round and lower onto the bolster, hands to the sides, turn the head to the left, if that feels a bit much, turn to the right, and we'll stay here a couple of minutes. the other side. So same again, the knees are bent nice and soft, you're just going to bring yourself round, bolster or pillow into your right uh, hip and then lower yourself down and twist the head to the right or if that's too much just go to your left. into the hands to come up, 
And then we're gonna come to lie in Shavasana. But when we're working with yin, when we've got all these bolsters, it's nice to use them, to use the prop. So I'm gonna suggest that you bring your bolster or pillows under your knees, come to lie back, bring your hands by your sides, and we'll just rest for a few minutes. Nice deep breaths. your bolster or push your pillows out of the way roll to your right side take a pause and then slowly push to come back up to sit bring your hands back together at the heart rub the hands together Place them over your eyes and then blink your eyes open to bring the hands down when you're ready. Namaste. I hope you enjoyed that, yogis. I hope that helps you to just feel that your body's rested and that you feel like you've calmed everything down, slowed everything down. Do come back to this one whenever you can. Let me know how you get on. Namaste.